Hi guys, Prepper Dell here. Welcome to my channel. Um, this video is about kit from a new store called Survival World in the UK. They cater for survival, bushcraft and uh, military items. So, let's take a look at what I ordered from this. So this here is an emergency flooding disaster kit basic. So the, these, you know, if you live if you live on a floodplain or are at risk of flooding at any time, then you need to uh, you need a kit to be prepared for an emergency. So this is designed as a starter kit, um, and then you can build it up from there. As always, any kit you buy is is just a basic, and then you build it from there from from what you need. So this is a great building block for for emergency flooding disaster. So in this kit, it contains a 30 litre dry sack, waterproof, Highlander wind-up torch, 24-hour survival ration block, one pouch of long-life drinking water, survival foil blanket, a lighter and a hexi cooker and tablets. So let's take a look at this. Combat UK offer great um, hexi, hexi stoves. These are similar to what are issued in the British Army. For the, for the ration packs, obviously different makes, but basically Combat UK is is the, the same as the British, issue, British Army issue. So there it is, it comes with eight large hexi tablets. These are great kits, um, if, you, if you've ever used them you'll know you'll know how good they are and you'll know that you know a, one tablet can last you um, anywhere between 12, um, 12 and 18 minutes um, depending on what, you, what you're using it for cooking ATC. So there's the, the combat hexi stove with the fuel, fuels inside, folds away inside it, the foldable stove. Emergency drinking water, I'm sure you've all seen these before. This is just one example of one pack, gives you an expiry date. This one expires in um, 2021, so ni nice long life, nice fresh water, long life. Let's see, it's in the, the packet so you know it can get dirty anything like that and the only thing that's going to happen to that is if it gets punctured so that's the emergency drinking water I'd add more to that but remember this is just a basic emergency disaster kit next one is a seven oaks standard emergency rations you break this down it gives you its full breakdown on the side there it's nutritional facts you know uh, the serving size per bar um, how many is in the container the calories, fat content, so all the information is on the side there and the ingredients within it. On the back is just another um, different languages, simple breakdowns. Contents of 500 grams compressed food, baked wheat, fat and sugars. So basically everything that you'll need to get you through um, a survival situation. So there it is. These are actually issued to RNLI members for lifeboats and things like that. That's where these emergency rations come from. So they have a great long, long life. Next is the Highlander wind-up torch. Great bits of kit. Wind it up and then off it goes. So there you go, great bit of kit to keep in your bag. You don't have to worry about if you've ever left um, batteries in a torch for so long and then they start corroding. A lighter, quick lighter for quickness if you need it. But bearing in mind if you didn't flood in and wetness and things like that, I would add a ferro rod to this kit and that, that would make it a lot better for me. Um, a twin pack of survival blankets. Foil blankets are great. So whether you and a buddy, um, you and someone else, or just double up on your on your, your your foil blankets. You know you can always use another foil blanket as um, to reflect your heat if if you've got a fire going and things like that. Um, so this this is your emergency flooding disaster kit basic, and then you have the kayak bag. So this is the thirty liter storage bag with shoulder strap, uh, shoulder strap, fully taped seams with roll down closure and quick release buckle. Um, I presume you've all seen these and what they're like when you've been adventure training and things like that. So uh, just it's just a simple dry bag for keeping all your equipment dry. So what I would do with this is I would put um, I would put all this kit in it plus a few extra 
a few extra bits of kit and um, a, a bit of dry clothing within it. Remember it's a 30 litre bag so it's a great size a great size to get a bit of dry clothing, those rations, maybe even um, a small sleeping bag within it uh, and maybe even add some flares to it and things like that if you're in a flooding area you're on top of a roof this this will get you by for you know a day or two add some extra water ration pouches maybe add a boiling vessel for uh, for the for, for the rations and the water uh, um, you've got the blanket the, the foil blankets keep you warm add a small scrunch bag in, into this um, if you need uh, and I would suggest add a couple of signal flares but all in all for an emergency basic kit this covers the needs um, absolutely so this retails for about £24 I think it's a, a great buy for that I think it's got everything to start a basic kit so this will get you started and just keep adding to it guys and um, this is from survival world do a quick link if you can see that there. That's their website. 